Yo, what's up everybody? Richie3 here, and I have a long overdue Railworks 4 2013 video for you guys. Now, right now I'm doing a uh, coal hopper transfer uh, scenario right here. Now, the main point of this tutorial will be to teach the noobs how to play the game. Oh crap, the dialogue went away. Damn. Anyway, uh, well, we're just going to teach all you guys that just bought the game, for, got the game for Christmas, bought the game uh, on Steam, by the way there is still a Steam sale going on, it's like 50% off for Railworks 2013, so you know, might want to check that out if you want the game. So, alright, I'm just going to show you guys how to do very basics, do this quick, like 15, 20 minute tutorial on just how to play the game and have fun with it. So alright, first off, I got my train here, you got to left click on it, yeah, you left click somewhere, alright there already selected see now they come with a problem like hey how do I navigate this this train here is nothing to do is no menu what you got to do is bring up the menu or the control HUD HUD's up display by pressing the F4 key we're here all right uh, now what we have to do next okay I've got two trains all right two locomotives here connected um, all right now I'm not sure what I have to do so the first thing you got to check if you don't know what you have to do Check down here at this bottom left. Okay, it says I have to couple to Lake Spur Refinery 5. Now, I have no idea where that is. Alright, so you have to locate Refinery 5. Refinery, uh, five. So, what you do is go to the map by clicking this uh, button over here. Alright, okay, here we go. See, so you got a task list on the left. This is a new feature to Railworks 2013. Alright, um, okay, I am, looks like it's over here. I am right, ah, here we go, I'm right here. This is my little daddy. This is our terrain, you can always tell because it's in the red. And if you don't know what you can do, uh, where's this? Center player. So you click this button, automatically centers on your player so you know exactly where you are. Okay, so we have to back out of here without getting hit by this incoming uh, SD40. That would be bad. Uh, we have to back up into Lake Spur Refinery 5. Uh, let's see, a couple, all these numbers. All right. Okay, it's these right here. I need a couple of these. This is Lake Lake Spur Refinery Five. If you can tell, right there. Uh, I think you can rotate by. Uh, I guess you can't rotate. All right. Okay, so I have to back up to this track. So what you do? Uh, see this? This is this indicates a switch. Okay, this little thing right here. And um, if you click this little this little blue button, if you hover over it a little, it'll turn to orange. You left click that, and it'll switch the switch. So now your train goes from here onto this other, uh, onto the track that we want. And you want to do that, um, just make sure your train has a clear path. Uh, do the same thing. This one's already selected. Now what you gotta do is follow this path down here. Follow this path. Uh, good. That's it right there. This is the switch. Just make sure this, okay, there's a blue line that shows where your train should go if it follows the switches. See the blue line? Now it goes all the way up here to Lake Spur Refinery 5. And that's where we need to go. So all I need to do now, okay, make sure these switches are switched, correct, that doesn't matter. Okay, we're good, so we are going to move out here, and uh, we're going to back it up. So, quick uh, tutorial here, this is the main brake, this is the reverser, uh, forward, backward, um, and this is the throttle on the left here. This is some type, some type of, uh, I'm not really sure what to call it, something like a load indicator, like if, you're, if you gun it. The thing, this little dot will go back, and if you slam the brakes, it'll go forward. It's just where your load is. It's where the center of mass of your load is, something like that. Uh, all right, so we're gonna reverse, back it up, make sure all the brakes are off. These are the different type of brakes. This is the main train brake. You don't have to worry about those for now. Oh, make sure your engine's on. If you don't hear it running, press this little green button over here. Just make sure. Okay, we're all good here. Turn the lights on by pressing the H button. All right, now we back up. So we got to keep in the yard limit over here. This is the speedometer, uh, two miles an hour, three, and this is the current limit, which is 15 miles an hour. 
Uh, engine RPM is down here. Uh, you start to hear some odd reverb effects when you have two engines in this game, because so see this thing is operating at exactly 3800 or three, 388 RPMs. So is the other train behind you, and sis, uh, stereo systems have a really weird way of of just uh, showing two different sounds. So it sounds kind of really it sounds kind of funny. But what we have to do now is just make sure we're going the right way. And how we know, oh, I'm going way too fast. So I see you just have to hit the brake. And you'll hear it go on. This thing should just coast. I mean, see, I'm going 15 right now. I'm just going to coast there and let it go. So, all right, look, I'm approaching uh, where I need to couple up here, Finery 5. And she's cruising along nicely. And it should go right into the siding uh, with no problems at all. Yeah, um, alright, well, you can just talk about the game while we're waiting here. Um, I noticed, uh, they haven't really changed anything graphically in 2013 or in Railworks 4. However, they have increased performance. I mean, I'm getting, I mean, I don't have a great computer anymore, but I'm getting a good solid 30 frames recording. And, um, when I was just bumming around here, just getting the lay of everything, I was getting solid 60. And no less than 60 frames per second. Um, and I've got it locked at 60, so. It's pretty good. Pretty good deal. So let me speed that. Oh, I'm trying to think of other things that you know, noobs might want to know here. Uh, when to slow down uh, when approaching another train, or when to couple up. Um, honestly, it's all about how fast you're going. If you're going 14 miles an hour, start slowing down, like right about here. But uh, it, it just all depends, really. It's better to be too early than too late, in my opinion. I'm using the train brake right now. I usually just shove it all the way on, shove it off, and connecting speed, uh, like for optimal speed for connecting, you know, trains to cars would probably be, uh, the max I'd go is maybe five miles an hour, maybe six. I mean, you can go faster, but you risk derailment. That's just my recommended speed. Alright, so you know what I like to do now is switch the world camera. I'll show you those in a little bit more detail. And when you're approaching it, when you're like about right there, just hit the brakes. There we go. It should. Okay, I don't have train brakes, so. I'm going to put the whole train brake on a little bit. Now, a little thing comes up. Now, a couple of the empties in Lakespur Refinery 4. <laughs> Good. Now, Refinery 4 is probably next to it. It's not here, so it's got to be over here so these guys all right um what any oh yeah look all right f6 press f6 and you get the the numbers of each uh of where you have to go get the little uh, labels here above uh the tracks this is lake spur refinery four right there perfect okay another quick thing um i haven't really told you guys this let me just move out here while we're waiting okay how to move the camera okay um down here, click this uh, free camera button. I think it's default seven on the uh, keyboard. Or oh, my bad, it's eight. Default eight. Okay, press eight, and uh, you get to move your camera around free wherever you want to go. You are limited to a certain range. That's not really important though. Okay, we need to do. Uh, we need to know to move. All right. Uh, use the arrow keys to move uh, forward this way, and you point the camera in the direction you want to go. See, I want to go to this really blocky red car probably like a Lincoln or something like that see I press forward now I'm pressing back to back the camera up now see it's moving kinda slow and if I want to get to say the front of that train really quickly I have to hold down shift and that just it just cruises along nicely um I gotta watch I don't want to go over this speed limit of the siding here I'm gonna start slowing down now so uh, that's basically it for the camera. Um, left and right, just kind of strafes. Um, what else do you need to know? Okay, these little buttons down here. The default camera, which goes inside the main locomotive, is one. You press that, you get the inside. Good look here. Okay, pretty simple stuff. Three is the behind the locomotive. This is perfect if you want to line up the train with sidings. And I bet real engineers and trains would love to have this camera. Um, Alright, so we just gotta wait till we're in good range. 
so we can switch off. All right, I'm gonna hit the brakes right now. It look good. All right, another quick tip here. This isn't. This is a uh, just a little shortcut. You can left click here, um, but you can also do press Shift G, and the switch goes for you. It goes uh, the switch directly behind your train switches for you. And if you hit G, press the button G on the keyboard, the switch in front of you will switch. All right. Now we're gonna back it up and connect to. These refinery four. Oh look, trains going by. How nice. It actually does look pretty good. I don't have the graphics all the way turned up, um, just for demonstration purposes. I'd rather get higher frames than uh, really good quality. But I think it looks pretty good right now. Okay, and I don't um, <clears throat> record or export in 1080p. I I go 720. Um, but I do have a, I do play in 1080p. I just downgrade it. Uh, I record in uh, 1600 by 900, and then I'm pretty sure it downgrades to uh, 1280 by 720. Don't ask me why I don't record in in 720. It, it's because it lags too much. It, it's just a, it's just kind of a mess. But hey, it works. I'm approaching this really fast, so I need to slow down. See this little green green thing over here, or this little uh, box? It started to move when I hit the brakes. I'm still not really quite sure why they put that on there. I guess to be more aware of how fast you're going and how your speed and cornering affects your cargo or passengers. But I don't know. It's just kind of there. Okay, you just waiting to connect. Come on. Alright, here we go. We're getting close now. Ah, just made it. That was perfect. Your train is coupled together and ready to go. Set the junctions ahead and proceed to Monument Yard 1 when signals allow to drop off the hoppers here. So I, so I just have to go to Monument Yard 1. I don't have to pick up anything else. That's what that's saying. So, now what I gotta do... Go back to the map. Locate Monument Yard 1. I have no idea where that is. Uh, I'm pretty sure they should. Alright. I'm starting to think it has something to do. Oh, shoot. I'm down here, aren't I? My bad. Alright, so um, go, go via Lake Spur. Okay, so I need to... Uh, what this is saying is go here. Basically, go across these tracks. So, Lake Spur through two is right here so I need to orient my train to get in this far right uh, track well, actually it depends which one I'm going on here okay where am I okay see so the blue is here I'm gonna switch this one and this one oh my bad this one so it goes over here then this should go all the way down like spur through two that's all I gotta worry about now um, the Lake Spur South one, then it switches me over to the right side of the uh, of the tracks. That's perfect. Uh, they made this uh, much more, uh, much easier to use this this new HUD, this new whole layout that they did in uh, 2013. So you uh, noob should have a an easier time picking the picking the game up. All right. We're gonna have to put the bell on. That was kind of unnecessary, but I think the bell would be useful just because we're pulling out of a out of a yard. Not sure if that's a rule or not, but it is now. Alright. Still only still only 15 max in here, so. Yeah, another thing that I applaud Railworks for doing is, is their sound. They, they do it very well. I mean the sounds for the engines is it's it's so nice. It's clear, crisp. There are sound packs you can get online. They do sound um, a little better for some engines, um, but I, I still think they did a fantastic job uh, rendering the sound and rendering the graphical elements of the of the vehicles themselves, of the engines, the cars and and things, scenery. Not bad, not bad. Okay, speed up a little bit here. 
Yeah, so um, I've been sick actually. I just wanted to know. <laughs> I've been I've been having some bronchitis. It's been pretty rough. Just a lot of coughing, a lot of tissue usage. Uh, it's generally it's not a very fun uh, fun thing to have. I thought it was just a regular cold, then I noticed my lungs getting you know I'm starting to get a little wheezy, and not the gay rapper. By the way. Um, I started getting uh, kind of wheezy in my lungs, so I uh, went to the doctors, and and I've got bronchitis. So I was on some medication a little bit, but nothing too serious. Okay, so now I'm switching over to the main track here, or one of the main tracks. This looks good. There were no signals uh, that I went through, no red signals I went through, so that's good. Still waiting to see. Okay, oh, I can speed this up a little bit. And the speed limits in this game, okay, they, they do allow you to go over, much like in real life. They do allow a little bit of, of leeway. So you can go 15.2. Okay, it's not like maxed out at 15. I, I kind of like that about about this game. But if you go like 15, if you go 16, you're done. You, you don't do that. But I can I can step it up here. Let's go to the back and see how we're doing. Still doing well. Take the bell off. It can get annoying. Yeah, just press one to go inside of the uh, locomotive. All right. Any 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 uh, any uh, you guys know what these buttons mean? Well, real quick. This is the wiper button. Uh, light button. Press that. Turn the lights on and off. I'm just gonna leave them off for now. Uh, this is load unload. This is used for passengers and whatnot. Not necessary now. Uh, sander. I never use it, but I mean, I guess you could if it's snowing or something. Horn. You know what that does? Bell. I already showed you that. Govia Lake Spurs South One. That's over here, so it should turn right. Perfect. See, there is okay. This thing down here just shows you where your train is, where you're going. Just rip up the engine a little bit there. I want to get this thing on, get this thing moving. Uh, right down here, you see a little percentage icon. Uh, this displays the current grade of the track you're on. Um, not really sure what it exactly means, but I guess it, it's, just, it's a percentage. And higher percentage, the steeper the grade. See, we're, right now we're not on a grade, although we are slowing down a, a substantial amount. I need to pick this up here, boys. And we're at 40 miles now. Perfect. So, Monument Yard 1. Actually, I'm just going to make sure. Okay, that's... Okay, i got to go all the heck way down there. Okay. So, dropping off stuff. Uh, really easy. What you got to do, go up to the locomotive. Left click there. It uncouples it. And it's it's pretty uh, pretty simple. Not too difficult there, guys. So, uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure you guys got a good grasp on the basics of Routeworks for uh, 2013. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave it, leave a comment in the description. I will, uh, I, I will respond to you. Um, if you have uh, option or ideas for another video, sure, let me know. Uh, I've got Routeworks. Uh, I play that a decent amount. Um, Skyrim, Far Cry, Battlefield, stuff like that. I don't record those very often because they lag be honest um but yeah if you guys if you guys have any questions just leave a comment uh like you know i'd really like if you like the video all that good stuff uh you know the usual so yeah thanks for watching the video and yo you guys uh have a great day peace